everybody, it's Amy from Magic and Light Collection. You can find all of our products at www.magicandlightcollection.com. So today I'm working on an image from Olinda Pulley Photography, and this is actually an image of my cousin's triplets, and they are so cute. Congratulations, Leah, if you happen to watch this Photoshop video tutorial. But um, you can find Olinda Pulley at www.olindapulleyphotography.com. So today I just want to show you all how to correct your images before you run your actions. This is important. It's important to work on a nice clean image uh, before you run your actions. So the first problem that, well there are two problems here. It's a little bit underexposed which is fine. This is a good way when you're especially when you're working with light not to blow the highlights and so we just need to bring that up a little bit. The second problem is the skin tone. This image is very cyan and we have a little bit too much magenta going on in the skin and so we'll fix that. The first thing that I want to do is run a levels adjustment layer. So I'm going to come up here, add an adjustment, and I'm going to choose levels. So we can see that there aren't many shadows, there are not any strong highlights, and most of the values fall between the highlights and the midtones, kind of three quarters of the way right here. So we want to brighten this up a little bit, and just so you all know, in case you have not worked with levels before, this has nothing to do with the colors in your image. This only has to do with light and dark when you're reading this histogram. So the first thing that I want to do is drag the slider over to where the highlights start. Okay, so you can see the difference. Brightened it up a little bit. That white is now whiter. And I'm actually going to take it a tiny bit over. Okay, so the shadows, um, I kind of like that this image doesn't have a ton of contrast, but if we wanted to darken the shadows, we could always pull this slider over a little bit, but you can see for this image that really is not a, a great idea, so we're going to leave that alone. Now the mid-tone slider, we kind of like to see a lot of the values here in the mid-tone range, and so I'm going to brighten the midtones by dragging it to the left a tiny bit. And that's just going to brighten the midtones a little. I'm happy with this, and so I'm going to look at what it looked like before. This is where we started. This is where we are now. That's a nice difference. So I am happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and flatten my choosing layer flatten image. And now I want to go ahead and work on the skin tone issues. Now this is a little bit more complicated and it's a little bit more scientific rather than just eyeballing it. I'm going to talk to you about skin tones and the values that I use are specifically for light toned Caucasians. The values are going to change depending on the skin tone that you're working with. So light toned Caucasians are going to follow this formula. The first thing that I'm going to do is make sure that I have the eyedropper tool selected. I want to come over and select a point. Now I have selected two points on here. I'm going to select another point just to show you all. I want to be sure that it's in the mid-tone range and not within any of the highlights. So there's a little highlight here a highlight going on here and here. Choose something that's just outside the highlights. And I'm going to choose my point. Let's see. I think this is probably good. This is the first point I selected earlier today when I was working on this, but I'm going to select this by holding down the shift key and clicking. And you can see that says point number three. Now when I did that, you can see a bunch of values came up. Now this is point one, point two, and point three. I'm looking at point three right now. So you can see that it says RGB. We do not want to be working in RGB. The reason for this is because professional printers 
use CMYK mode when they are developing your photos. And so we want to be sure that we are optimizing our compatibility with the professional printers by working in CMYK. So here's the eyedropper tool here. Click that and go down to CMYK color. Now we have a bunch of percentages that come up. This is cyan, magenta, and yellow. Cyan's at 24, magenta at 48, yellow at 41. So let's talk about the formula. For light skin tone Caucasians, we want to be sure that the yellow values are more than or equal to the magenta values. You can see that the yellow value is below the magenta value here. We need to bring that up. So we're going to run a curves adjustment layer by clicking here. Now you see that a window pops up. We want that to be in front here. And we're going to go to the blue yellow channel to adjust our yellow tones. So clicking this hand tool, going back to the three, I'm just going to click and drag to bring those yellow tones up above magenta. So I'll leave it right there. So just with that little adjustment, you can see that there's a big difference. More realistic skin tones. So let's look at the other numbers. Cyan is at 24%. This is way too high. And so the formula for cyan is that the cyan value should be one third to one fifth of the magenta value. So cyan's 24, magenta's 47. This is about 50%. So we need to bring the cyan value down. So I'm gonna come here and go to my red cyan channel. I'm gonna come back to my number three point and I'm going to bring that down, oops, I'm going to bring that down to a third of the magenta value, which is going to be somewhere around 17, 18 ish percent. And I think that that looks good. So let's check it um, against our original, more realistic skin tones for sure. Okay. So it looks just a slightly bit too magenta to me. And so while these values are perfect, I you can always mess with it and, and really get the right, right formula for your individual image. So I'm gonna reduce the magenta a tiny bit by going to the green magenta channel. And I'm going to click and drag until my magenta comes down a tiny bit. Okay, so that's, it was very subtle, just a little bit. But you can see that when I did that, the yellow values changed, so recheck everything. Um, yellow is still higher than magenta, and so that looks good. Cyan is still one third of magenta, and so that looks good. If I wanted to readjust the yellow, I would just go back to the blue yellow channel and drag it to a higher number. I'll go 1% higher and that looks good to me. So let's look at the before and after. Those are more realistic skin tones and exposure. And so I hope that you found this helpful. Please clean up your images before you run actions. It definitely will help you achieve the best results. So I hope you found this helpful. And you can find all of our products at www.magicandlightcollection.com.